Hi everyone, it's Angela from Cloud Pity, and today I'm sharing how to make this kawaii jellyfish in an ocean inside a seashell using polymer clay and UV resin. So to start out, I have this really detailed seashell mold, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And then I have a big bowl of some pearl clay. And I'm just going to place that into the mold and squish it down really well. I'm also trying to make sure that I press a curve into the clay and make it like a real seashell would have. I'm then going to go ahead and remove it from the mold and bake it using my package's instructions. Then once it's fully cooled down, it should look like this. You can see that it has kind of a curve in it. So now I'm just going to place that aside and work on the jellyfish. And for that, I have a big ball of some mint clay. I'm just going to place that onto my work surface and press it down a little bit so that the back becomes flat. I then have a small ball of the same colour and I'm going to roll that into a teardrop shape. And then bending the thinner end up a bit slightly. I've made three of these all together and I'm just going to place them onto the bottom of the head. Then using the dotting tool, poking some holes for the eyes to go. And adding in little balls of brown. And a really small U-shape for the mouth. I then added some pink balls for the cheeks. And on go three little purple balls for the little freckles. Just placing those onto the right side of the head. And then just flattening those down just a little tiny bit. So now to make the seaweed, I'm rolling a small ball of some bright green clay into a snake. And then flattening that down with my finger. Then with my needle tool and finger, I'm pressing some ridges on either side. and then scratching some short lines on the surface. I've then made a smaller one and attached that to the side. And now a little ball of grey for the rock, just placing that onto where the two edges meet. I've then gone ahead and also made two smaller rocks and now I'm going to bake everything using my package's instructions. So while that's baking, I'm going to do some resin work. I have a plastic shot glass and some blue resin pigment. And in the shot glass, I'm going to pour in some UV resin. And just to mention, this is the hard type of resin, not the soft. And it's also not the epoxy one either and then a drop of the pigment. If you didn't have this pigment, you could just use some chalk pastels. So now I've then got my gloves on and a little safety mask as well. And I'm gonna use a toothpick to mix everything really well. Pour 
Once it's a uniform colour, I'm sticking the shell down onto my work surface with some blue tack. And then pouring the resin into the shell. Then I'm just going to spread it all the way around the shell with a toothpick. And then set it using my UV lamp. Usually I would take it outside and cure it in the sun. But because I'm most likely to spill it, I'm just going to cure it inside under the lamp. So once that's fully cured, I've mixed up some white resin the same way that I did with the blue. And I'm pouring that on top. And then spreading that all over. So while that's still wet, I want to make sort of a water effect. So I'm dotting the surface with droplets of uncolored UV resin, just adding those on with a toothpick. And while I do this, the white resin will kind of pull away and reveal the blue layer underneath. And then once that's ready, I'm going to cure it under my UV lamp. So next I have some white craft sand in this little cup. And I'm going to add some UV resin and mix it around so that it looks like wet sand. And then I'm going to spread it around the top edge of the seashell so that it looks like sea foam. And then cure that with the light. So now it's time to add all the little clay bits. So I'm going to glaze everything with some UV resin for some extra shine. And then cure that with my UV lamp. And then making sure I get the back as well so it's kind of like a glue. And then attaching it onto the ocean. And then hitting it one last time with the light. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!